Another head. That was a little bit scary. <laughs> oh, that sucks. There was a pile of birds in here. And uh, Skip went on point. A couple of them got up and he just blew it. Just tore through the rest of it. And a whole lot of birds got up. Find that one. Uh, thank you. So, all right, there's a the bird. Damn it, there was a rooster. Skip, come. There he is. Oh boy, hey. 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 How much chomping do you gotta do? Well, we just shot a rooster. Wasn't pretty. And uh, no points, nothing. I'm, the birds just started getting up wild. And uh, I happened to be on the right side of the action. And a whole bunch of birds got up. And luckily one of the roosters came close enough and I hit him. place we're getting any points is out in the patchy cattails like this <clears throat> once he's running through the thick stuff or in that giant reed grass forget it it's too noisy birds are just flushing like crazy but if you can find one out in this you can get a point and maybe make something happen Good boy, Skipper. <laughs> Touch it up. Good boy. Ooh, he got rocked. All right, rooster number two. We did a long chase for that one from way over there, and he must have just decided to stop. Got sick of t sick and tired of running through the snow and cattails. That was awesome. Today is December the 23rd. It is very nearly Christmas. Gilly and I are on a WMA. <clears throat> and to be honest, on our way out here, I don't know if you can see me with the sun like that, but whatever. And to be honest, on the way out here, uh, we probably saw 20 plus roosters out in the middle of stubble fields eating, along with countless hens. Um, and so I kind of thought, uh, this is maybe going to be a pointless 
endeavor. And for the most part, it kind of was. Um, we walked nearly all of the WMA without seeing anything, a hen or a rooster, despite there being many, many, many tracks. Um, because presumably all of the birds were out eating. But eventually, Gilly was working through that brush and who knows what's happening in that brush. It's dead calm. There's no wind and uh, birds just started getting up like crazy and one rooster happened to come back my way. Come here Gilly. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Oh right there. Come Gilly. Died on that side and fell all the way through. Made it all the way through that bush. It was dead right there. Nice rooster. Whoa! Okay. Come, Skip, come, come. Well, that was a tricky bird. Skip was on point there, and then there, and then there, and I let him go and he went across the river, and the bird was actually up there. The wind's coming like this, so the bird got up there, and Skip was here, and ended up going that way, and I just happened to be in the right spot at the right time. Nice long-tailed bird. That's why you don't want to cross the creek. Holy. Skip is on point up there. And there's a bunch of birds right here. Oh, look at them all go. That sucks. Skip's on point up there. And I could just see birds running through the woods. And uh, then they all flushed and went off that way. Which is still WMA. But, uh, man, it is not going to be easy to get to them if the snow is like this. There's a hawk carrying a pheasant right there. Ha! Crazy. Ha! Look at that snow drift. I bet you that Phragmites is nine feet tall. Ha! That thing's ridiculous. Skip some point in here. There he comes down. 
Yes! Holy cow. That was absurd. Skip, come. Oh. Come, Skip. Come, Skip. Oh, I cannot believe that that worked out. Oh, good boy, Skipper. Oh, man. My second shot, I was so befuddled. I, oh, I think I took the brunt of that to my nose. Come. We got him. Good boy, Skipper. <laughs> that is an awesome day. Let's get out of here. It's so cold. <sighs> Whoa, Gilly, come! First shot was a misfire. Huge cubby. My gun misfired. They're right there. They flew like 30 yards and went down. Right past that thing. Fetch! 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 I don't know. <laughs> Whatever I felt, I grabbed it. I, I see it. Yeah, but who's gonna get it first here? Skip's got it. Skip's got it. Come! Mojo here. Drop. Watch it. Drop. Mojo. Mojo. Hey. Got it. Nice. Hey, there was three. So, yep. Keep an eye. Hey, it's over here. It's right there. <laughs> Mojo. Damn it. Damn it! Skip, come. Come. Good boy. Good boy, Mojo. Drop. Drop. A second, the rooster got up ahead of us again. Wait, this one's coming back. Watch this one come back, come back, come back. Right there. What the? Misfired again. What in the hell? Ugh. Okay.
feathers off a bird. Here they come! And that was it. That is how I wrapped up my season. I did also want to mention that uh, those last couple hunts you saw were in Nebraska with Will, and uh, it was tough. Uh, we ran into a lot of hunters, not a lot of birds, and uh, some point during our hunt, my wife called me and said, hey, me and the kids are all sick. So we had one more day to hunt, and because of the lack of birds and the amount of hunters, we just decided to pack it up and, and uh, we drove home. I think there was one more covey that Will got into that I didn't get on camera because he wasn't next to me. And then uh, on the very last day, the last hunt, uh, Gilly miraculously pointed a rooster at the end of a food plot, but my batteries were all dead, uh, the rooster flushed, I shot him, and it was a good way to wrap up a difficult trip, but also to put a, a bow on a pretty good season. And finally, most importantly, of course, as I've done all season, I tracked all of my miles during those 18 hunts. And before that, I had 161 miles. Well, during those 18 hunts, I put on an additional 67 miles, putting us to 228 miles, which blows away our goal of 200 miles, which means that 3,000, I did the calculation here, 3,000, $278, I had some additional donors last minute, will be going to the conservation of wild things and wild places. I instructed everyone who is giving a donation to give that money to Pheasants Forever through their project store. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in making a donation as well. And because of that, this $3,000 $278 is going to go towards the acquisition of a piece of public land that will be restored for wild things. And I will be sure to put together a video of that property once it is acquired. And I will definitely be sure to spend some time out there next fall chasing roosters. And that's it, the season's over. I need to give a huge, huge shout out to Onyx. If you guys don't have the Hunt app, you should get it and use it. It's an awesome product. And also a shout out to Glenn, as well as my other donors. Um, this wouldn't have been possible without you guys. And finally, I need to encourage every last one of you watching this video. I hunt birds in wild places, and I bet a lot of you do too. And if you value wild things in wild places, well then you know what to do. You need to become a champion for conservation. Join a conservation organization. Get involved in the politics of conservation. As difficult and unfun of a task as that may seem, buy a duck stamp, buy a pheasant stamp, buy a turkey stamp. Find your niche, find a way to get involved. All right, that's it. I'll probably put together an episode or two during the summer, but otherwise, I'll see you guys next fall. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next time. See ya.